I'm Sharon, and this is episode 316 of the Minute Style Podcast. Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode 316. We are back from our vacation. We had a lovely time, and I'll put some pictures in here. We were up at, we were in upstate New York at a lake house that my family used to own, but I now rent from the new owner. And it's beautiful, the lake is gorgeous, the weather wasn't the best, but I was able to get out and walk on that beach every single day. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, and Jamie just loved it, he was adorable. He had such a great time. He's so he's such a good boy. But then he was very happy when we got home. So, a little housekeeping before we start. I think I'm going to have two more episodes in the next few weeks, and then we're away again. That was poor planning on our part. So, we have been going to Walt Disney World in Florida every January to get away from the cold. And it hasn't worked out so well weather-wise. We will we would go down in January and the weather would be still cold. So we decided this year to switch it up and go to Disney World in November. And I didn't realize how close it was to our other trip. So we're only back here for a month and then we're off again. Which is fine. I really wanted to experience Walt Disney World at the holidays again. We were there for the holidays many years ago. I want to say it's got to be 20 years ago. So I'm excited to be doing that again and I can't wait. So again there will be another few episodes before we go away and they'll be we'll be away again and then it will be almost Thanksgiving you guys. I cannot believe how fast everything is going. I mean, Halloween is in a few weeks. It's crazy. So let's get started with the episode. So I've been talking about shop update in the beginning of each episode, and that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my shop update this week. And you guys, I haven't, I have not dyed one skein of yarn since I've been home from the lake. It just was a little bit crazy getting things reorganized. It's a little crazy. So I have not dyed anything. However, while I was away, I worked on something that is very exciting to me and hopefully you guys will enjoy. So I had the mystery Halloween kit that I sold for the Halloween season and it was very successful, did very well, I was really happy with it. So much fun to do. I collaborated with Mando Bug. She designed a beautiful Halloween shawl, shawl for me um, to include in the kit and that was awesome. And I really wanted to do a Christmas one and I know that Amanda's not really into Christmas and that's fine and I just didn't have time to find a designer. So, I designed an accessory. This is my very first design, and I am pretty excited about it, you guys. I've always wanted to de design something. This is a very simple design, which is good because it's quick. I knit this entire design while I was away, um, we were away for two weeks. I knit the entire design while I was there and I didn't even knit on it all the time. Like I would knit on it in the evening and maybe a little bit during the day, but I didn't push myself and I finished it. It's, it's very quick and it's really fun to knit. It's potato chippy. It's, you know, you want to get to the next thing and it is wearable. So wearable. So I designed a cowl. Before you see the cowl, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm showing you everything with this kit. This is not a mystery kit. It's not Halloween. This is Christmas. It screams Christmas. 
if you're not into traditional Christmas colors, you might want to look elsewhere for your Christmas knitting. If you are into traditional Christmas colors and you like to wear holiday colors during the month of December, you're going to love this because I love it. And that's what I'm into. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the kit right here. And the reason I don't have the yarn to show you is because I knit it. <laughs> so here's the kit. It comes with a gorgeous bag. I love the bag. It's beautiful. Um, and three skeins of yarn, 50 grams each. I'm also including two plain white mini skeins and that'll bring the total yardage up to almost 900 yards I think about 877 yards and I'll tell you why I'm including these two in a moment it really helps the fact that I knit this pattern so I kind of have an idea of the yardage that you will use and okay are you ready to see all right, I'm going to take off the cowl I'm wearing, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But here, here she is. So I'm calling this the Celtic Christmas Cowl because it has traditional Celtic mo um, textured motifs. I didn't want to do color work for my first design because, I don't know, maybe not all of you would be into doing color work, but I know all of you can knit and purl. <laughs> that's all that's in this. So at the bottom here we have a Christmas tree on the green fabric because yeah we have some beautiful sparkly diamonds in the speckle and we have some Celtic stars here in the red and I knit this at a little bit of a looser gauge that I'm gonna recommend so the texture doesn't show up as well on mine as as it probably could have, but I'm gonna recommend a little bit of a tighter gauge. But how cute is this? And the other thing is, you're not necessarily gonna see the motifs, it's fine. It just kind of gives it a little bit of interest peeking out, and it makes it much more fun to knit. Oh, look how cute this is. I love it. And here is the bag. That goes with it and two minis and the reason why I'm in I'm including the two minis well first of all um, I designed the cowl to have this contrasting white for the ribbing however I realized at the end Oh, I do, have, I do have the yarn with me. I realized at the end that if I include two minis, you will have enough to knit a matching pair of socks. Now, I don't have a sock pattern included, but you can use your favorite sock pattern and knit a matching pair of color block socks. Or you could stripe it, you could do however you want. Here is the yarn. So I had about 23 grams left in each ball. So like a little less than half um, after the cowl was finished. And then with the first mini, I just had a little tiny, I don't even have that in here. I just had a little tiny bit left. That's why I put two minis in. So if you wanted, so I started my socks with the white cuff. So I'm gonna do my sock with 
a white ribbing. I'm going to color block the body and the foot of the sock, and then the toe I'll do again in this color. And I'll have plenty, plenty of yarn for a beautiful pair of holiday socks to match my cowl. And if you wanted to, you could put those motifs in the sock pattern. Like you could probably fit them in. Again, I'm not writing that as a pattern at all because <laughs> it's going to be a challenge enough for me to write this up. I mean, I it's written up. You should see. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like I showed Rich. I said, here, this is the pattern I wrote. And he looked at it and he's like, okay. Because it's basically chicken scratch on a piece of paper. So I will be writing. I've never written a pattern before. So I'm going to try to make it look pretty for you. So what I'll do, mo most likely, the easiest thing for me to do, I'll probably put the pattern on Ravelry as a paid for pattern. So if other people want to buy it, they're more than welcome. And then I'll, when you, if you buy the kit, I will give you a coupon code and you can download it from Ravelry. If you can't use Ravelry or would prefer not to do that and you buy the kit, you can just email me and I will send you a PDF of the pattern. It's my pattern. I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm looking at this cowl in the viewfinder here while I'm recording. I love it. It's so cute. I, I'm really happy with it. I really am. I just, I will put this on December 1st and I will not take it off. Probably till December 31st. I've been wearing cowls nonstop and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So here is the bag sewn by Donna and um, the name of this bag and this color which matches the bag I must say this color here <laughs> I can't believe how well this matches the bag I'm so happy about it so this is vintage Christmas cards because the motifs on this bag are based on vintage Christmas cards it's so cute And this is um, I think I'm calling this green um, cutting down the tree or Christmas tree farm maybe. I think I might call it Christmas tree farm. And then in this red I'm calling Celtic star after the motif that I put on the red. So over the moon thrilled. Where did I get the motifs, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, I have, I don't have a huge library of knitting books because I'm a monster. I don't like books in my house. <laughs> I'm very minimal and pretty much the books I own are all like in the cloud. <laughs> on my computer and on my phone. I have a few physical books. This is one of them. Back when I was first um, starting to knit and I was learning how to knit things like sweaters um, and this book, Knitting Gansies by Beth Brown Renzel is a great book if you want to knit traditional fisherman sweaters and that's what these motifs are based on. And I'm going to flash you the page where I got, did I get them all? A couple. Okay, so here. So, yeah, there's some really cool motifs in this book. And the math worked out really well. I found three motifs that I liked that had the same stitch count, <laughs> which is key for designing, I guess. And I was able to fit them in beautifully. It was easy. And I'm super happy about it, you guys. I'm really, really excited. So anyway, this kit 
is available right now on my website. It's the first thing you'll see when you go to the home page and it is called the Celtic Christmas Cowl Kit. Again, comes with a free pattern and you'll be able to get two beautiful accessories out of it for the holidays. Shipping will be, I think, the, I, the week of October 17th-ish because um, I'm doing it as a pre-order. So get your orders in and I'd like to get them all done and out before we go away on vacation and um, hopefully when we get back from vacation you can still purchase them if you would like because it won't even be December by then so we'll talk more about that later but if you want to get right in and order them right away so you don't miss out um, yeah go to the website they're right there and if you would like some coordinating Christmassy, vintagey mini skeins to go along with this or any of your other holiday knitting. I also have a pre-order for a six skein mini skein set that will coordinate beautifully with these and you'll be set for your holiday knitting this year. So that's pretty cool. So I'm putting that up as well. You'll see it right next to this listing. In more shop update news, I have some Stephen West Mystery Knit Along kits still in the shop. So you can take a look at those. I want to show you the one that I have decided to cast on. I might cast it on today. I don't know. We'll have to see. But, you guys. This is my combo. <laughs> I think the only reason I'm casting it on is just to knit this combo. I lo I'm in love with it. So I was, when I was pulling skeins to find color combinations I came up with this one and I loved it for me if you're interested let me know and I can dye you some but this is this beautiful burgundy wine color Luxardo and Slutty squash. Oh my goodness. What a fall combo, you guys. Ah, I love it. And then my accent color is moody. It's black. It's um familiar, my black color. I love this. It's not too Halloween-y. I mean, I could have gone with... I could, I could have gone with these two, and then this is the accent color, but I think it would be, I didn't want it too Halloween-y. I'm so excited about it. So maybe I'll cast it on this afternoon. Okay, so the reason I'm going to do Stephen West's Mystery Knit Along is because, A, I love getting up, having my breakfast, and sitting down with Stephen for half an hour and just following his tutorials and learning something new. It's my favorite. I, I loved doing that last year with the one he did last year. Um, I made my final decision when I saw the final product. or It's not the final product. I didn't see the final shawl. I saw the first clue knit up and I loved it. So I'm definitely doing it. it. It's a great shop sample for sure. So stay tuned. And will I wear it? We'll see. Maybe, hopefully it'll be, he'll make it a little smaller. <laughs> he made the last one last year smaller. So that worked out. And I am not going to keep up with the knit along at all. I, if it takes me a year to knit it, that's fine. I just, I just love these colors so much. 
I just want to touch them and knit them. And I want a shawl on this base. I'm really loving, this is my sock base. This is my 7525 Superwash Merino sock base. And I love it. It's a four ply. It's pretty much all I've been dyeing lately because I love it. It's great for everything. It's sweaters, socks, shawls, cowls. It's soft, it's lovely, but and it wears really, really well. It doesn't pill, I just love it, so. I have a bunch of mini skein, well, some. I have a limited amount of mini skeins in my fall collection left. These are my um, fall solids. These are my Hocus Pocus minis. I'm going to be dyeing some full skeins of this next week. They're beautiful fall colors. And I have my Disney Villains Halloween minis. Plus various full skeins of some of these colors. So I have some of those available. Um, yeah. So go to the shop if you're interested. Okay, so that was so fun to knit that cowl on, on my vacation. It was not even, it was, it was just a joy to knit. It's so, oh, it's so nice. It's very comfortable. I love it. I love it so much. All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about what I've been knitting what I, other stuff I knit on that two-week vacation, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about past cowls that I have knit, because I'm finding I'm knitting, I'm wearing them more often than any other thing except for socks. I wear wool socks all year. Cowls I don't really wear in the summer, because it's hot. <laughs> okay, so... I knit on a bunch of socks. As a matter of fact, whenever I go away on vacation, I always bring something new to cast on. And I had this to cast on. I cast it on in the car on the way up. And I also, I just was in the mood to cast on some new socks. So I am knitting socks for my daughter and her partner for Christmas. They are uh, Star Wars themed and the dyer is Mustache Yarns. And I knit this entire sock on my vacation. I was really into knitting. I brought cross stitch with me, but I didn't get as much cross stitch done because I forgot my light. <laughs> And it's very dark in that cottage. But anyway, so I got this entire sock done, except for the toe. Because I hate knitting toes. I always mess them up. So, But yeah, I only ha I have one started. I'm really excited about that. So this yarn is, I think it's called Defender of the Home Tree by Mustache. And it is a Yoda reference. And this is for M, our daughter. And I did a traditional heel flap. Did I? Did I do a heel flap and gusset? I thought I did. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> so this is the heel flap right here. And the gusset. I normally, for myself, I knit Fish Lips Kiss heels. And, yeah, because I just like them. I might do a heel flap and gusset for these. I don't know. We'll see. See how much yarn I go through. So, those are for her. And then, for her partner, I've been working on these. We've talked about these socks. I recast them on a few weeks ago, and um, I think I'm, I think I cast on 70, 72, and I'm knitting, I think I added four stitches, so I'm knitting them on 76 stitches. 
He has a size 13 foot. So I have both of these cuffs finished. And I've finished the heel flap on the first one. And yeah, I, I don't like knitting <laughs> heel flaps. They just seem to take longer, but it's fine. It's, I'm actually, I shouldn't say I don't like knitting them. I've actually been enjoying knitting these heel flaps, honestly. It's just different, you know? Sometimes you gotta switch it up. So, my heel flap and gusset socks, all my socks are in my head because I've knit so many socks in my knitting career that I just don't, I use a pattern that's in my head. So the only thing I have to look up is the heel turn when I do a um, heel flap and gusset. And the heel turn I use, I will link to it in the show notes. It used to be an online pattern, free online pattern. It's now a Ravelry pattern that you can download. It's called Heels by the number. I don't know the designer. I'll put it down here. And I like a French heel. The French more rounded heel. I don't like, there's a handkerchief heel. I don't care for that one. Because my heels are round. I mean, you know. So if you look at this heel, it's a little more round at the bottom. I put that in M's. And I'll put that in Brian's. So this is the French heel, the rounder heel. I like that one. That's the one I use. So, and it's nice. The heels by the number is all based on its numbers. You know what I mean? And it gives you exactly how many to knit across and to wrap and turn. It doesn't wrap and turn. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a heel turn. You knit across and then you slip a stitch. I don't, I don't remember. I could probably do it in my sleep, but I can't explain it to you. <laughs> so, yes, on this colorway is, I don't remember the exact color, but it's, it's a mustache yarns color, and it is C3PO inspired. And they will have Star Wars socks this Christmas, and I'm really enjoying knitting those. I'm just taking it, my, I'm taking my time. So I'm not rushed at Christmas time. And I also started knitting on these Targi socks by Wollens and Nosh. This is the sushi color colorway. And I'm adding some reinforcement in the heel because 10% nylon doesn't cut it for me. So I need to reinforce the heel. Just the heel. Um, I just don't want them to wear out because they're so pretty. So I worked on those. There is another pair I worked on, but I didn't bring them up here. <laughs> so I did not, I have not knit on a sweater in a long time. So I need to recast on my Humulus. I will at some point. That'd be a nice wintry um, sweater to, to do. But I want to finish all these socks first. I want to finish these that match my beautiful cowl. I want to finish Em and Brian's socks. So that's probably what I'll be bringing with me to Disney. I'm only bringing socks to Disney. Maybe a cowl. <laughs> we'll see. So that is what I did on my vacation. And it was super fun. Okay. Let's talk. Let's do a little giveaway, shall we? I don't have one to draw for from last time because I didn't do one last time. But here is a prize from Knit Crate. I think this is an unclaimed prize. But it was sitting here and I'm like, I'm just going to give this away. So I actually, I actually love this. Um, the only reason why I didn't keep this one, this is my favorite color gray. I love this color, but I didn't keep it. It's 70% superwash merino, 20% cereal packa, and 10% nylon. So I really couldn't make socks out of this for me. 
Because I am hard on socks. Dude, I am... It's bad. So, this is 400 yards. If you didn't want to make socks, you could make a small shawl. Be beautiful. 400 yards. Nice small shawl. Gorgeous. So, if you would like to win this, just put a comment down below um, about anything you would like, and I will do a drawing next time. Okay, the topic of this video today is cowls. I'm on a cowl kick. I'm really enjoying knitting cowls. So I thought I'd show you some of the cowls that I have in my possession. And um, some of them you've seen before. And I found a few that were in my drawer that I forgot to show you already. So let's just do a cowl episode. So look at this one. <laughs> this is pretty little thing. The designer is the yarn harlot. And she designed this to be knit from a special skein. I'm gonna try all these on. She designed this to be knit from a special skein in your stash. So this, I think is Kiviet. Um, to knit a whole shawl out of Kiviet would be very expensive. This is lovely though. Like, you know, you can, I'll, I'll try and link to these in the show notes. Um, cute. You just throw it on. Keeps your neck warm. If my neck is warm, the rest of me is generally warm. So, yep. That's Pretty Little Thing by Stephanie Pearl McPhee. Okay. That's an old pattern. I knit that. I knit that a while ago. Um, this one, that one was really tiny. This one is big. It's wide. I don't wear this one as much. And I think it's because I'm not a big, I, I prefer a more fitted cowl, which is why the cowl I designed is more fitted. It's cute. I should wear this one more often. If I worked, I would wear this more often. But I don't. I don't work out of the house, as you know. Um, this is hand spun. Um, it is a gradient set from... I can't think right now. But it was a gradient. It's beautiful, and I should wear it more often, but anyway, um, I'm going to keep it out, so I do. I have shown you this one before. This is the Growing Leaves Cowl. I love this one. It's easy, easy to wear. The Growing Leaves Cowl by Megan Mako. I knit this out of Plucky Knitter. It's like a bulky. This one is the Snuggle Down Cowl. And it's lovely. It's a little tight. And I find it a little constricting, so I probably, I don't wear this one as much. And it's a little, it's fluffy. <laughs> it's held together with Surya Alpaca, which I love. It's soft, but it's, it's a little fluffy. I'm not allergic to it. It just kind of gets all over. But I, I like the cowl. It's nice. All right. And... I also knit, in the past, a cowl called the Drop Stitch Cowl by Spider Woman Knits. This cowl you can knit in a day. I knit it for a Christmas present, for several Christmas presents, and I'm gonna put a picture in of the cowl 
that I knit. It's a horrible picture, but I'll put it in. Um, it's great. Pick up some Rasta, some Malabrigo Rasta. It's a Christmas gift you can knit in a day. It's amazing. So I love that. It's called the Drop Stitch Cowl by Spider Woman Knits. And it's right there. And last but not least, my favorite, the Land of Sweets Cowl. The cowl I designed is a very similar size. Not that I was intending for it to be a similar size, it's just the way the stitch counts worked out with, with these motifs, really. So, I mean, a cowl's a tube. You can pretty much do anything you want to it. Land of Sweet. I just re-blocked this. It smells good. This is my original. I love it. I wear it all the time. All the time. So I knit two more. <laughs> I don't I only have one of them up here, but the one I was originally wearing when I first started this episode. Here's the Land of Sweets cowl. It is a mini skein set. I used six minis. These are mine. And I love it. I have been wearing it nonstop for two weeks. I adore it. Love the colors. And here's something else that I knit while I was away. Now, actually, I didn't. I didn't knit much on this one. I brought it with me. I started another one, and I'm using this mini skein set with some other minis thrown along with it, and I love it. I love this color. This first color, Mary, oh my goodness. These browns and reds, oh my goodness, so pretty. And oranges, love. I'm gonna dye that as a full skein next week. Um, yeah, so I'm knitting, knitting this one out of these. I'm really into the fall colors, you guys. I think it's my favorite. I'm not, like, I, I probably wear, like, the springy colors better with my complexion, but I just love the fall colors so much. And I can definitely pull off these Christmas colors for sure. <laughs> I'll put this back on. Okay, so that is all the cowls I have to show you. Um, yeah, there's others I want to knit, and I will show you as they come up. And that brings us to the end of episode 316. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, you can put comments down below. I will try and answer them. You'll be entered for a drawing. You can always email me, Sharon at knitstyleyarns.com. You can contact me through the knitstyleyarns.com website. There is a chat feature at the bottom. And if you type in that chat feature, I will get that message on my phone. I may not get to you right away because I think there's a delay, but um, you can ask me a question about anything you want in there and I will get back to you. So I'm very reachable. <laughs> if you want any custom orders, just let me know. I can do that for you. I'm going to be dying for the next couple weeks. So just let me know. And that is it for today. I hope you all have a great week. Knit something beautiful and... Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>